I'm Rob Zip, and today I am in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, I'm gonna walk around the, uh, the bay a little bit, maybe see something historical. Not quite sure, I have a short layover here. Oh, there's a hop on and hop out trail, I might join that. But whatever I get into, I want you to join me. So come along and let's have the most epic adventures together. That's a subway station, train station I got off of. Here's a map of the Long Wharf. We are right here. The aquarium is over here. There's, yeah, Boston Harbor Garage. There's a, there's a parade going on today. Veterans Day Parade. Some ferries. I'm gonna go this way. I think the parade is this way, but I'm gonna go this way right now. That is the aquarium. I'm, I'm not going into the aquarium today. They have a duck boat tour. There's lots of tours over here. There's trolley tours, there's double decker bus tours. There's, a, there's whale tours, there's Godzilla. There's ferries, whale watching, private events. Everything, it's, it, the day is just getting started here. It's Saturday morning. Did I tell you it's Saturday, November 4th, 2023. But we've got, you can get the city pass if you're gonna do a bunch of stuff. That's, those are always good to save money. Codzilla, that is hilarious. <laughs> There's the theater at the aquarium. Uh, the tour is $46 and it starts at 10 a.m. It's like an hour and a half from now. So I said, I'll think about it. Might be cool. It's Boston Harbor National Park. That's cool. And this is, I think this is, for these boats that have the National uh, Park Service logos on them. But there's gotta be like a free ferry. The thing about the tours is they have tour guides that give you all the history. If you're on a ferry, you're just kind of on your own. Boston is all about the history. I mean, look at the chart house here. This place has probably been here for a very long time, right here on the, the pier. The custom house block, I mean, this is about as old as you get in the United States. There's the Liberty Clipper. I, was, I always love seeing those Clipper ships. Clipper ships. Oh, well, there's one of the cruise boats coming in. Coming in from uh, the other side of the harbor. Here we are, Boston Harbor here. And again, there's the New England Aquarium. So all these uh, cruise cruise boats coming in right here, Boston Harbor City Cruises. Looks like it's coming right at me. That's what they look like in action with the sun rising in a November morning. It's the whale watching. It's a chilly. It's a brisk day. It's in the upper 40s. They probably, I think they get a lot more business during the summertime. But you may be able to see more, uh, more whales when it's, uh, when it's colder out. I don't know. Of course, you can take trolley tours, boat tours, duck boat tours. And then right over here through the bus sign, let's let's get around here. This place is called Legal Seafood. Le legal Seafoods. I mean, has there been a problem here with people selling illegal seafoods? That's just kind of strange. It's not open, buddy. You gotta wait till they're open. Use the other door. Nope, not open yet. I really love this park with the... Uh, Adirondack chairs on each end and the grass in the middle. It's kind of like an arena, like a park arena. And there's a street and it comes through. There's some tables over here. This is, uh, I think water maybe comes through here. Yeah, it's the rings fountain, which is turned off for now. But more grass over here. It could use some Adirondack chairs on that side too. But there's benches underneath these platforms here. Very cool. Like I said, there's a Veterans Day parade today. So I may or may not make it. There's tons of these freaking trolley tours. This one guy was kind of following me around, trying to give me a, a softish hard sell on it. 
So I'm not, I'm not really feeling it. I'm not really feeling it. All right, this park is called the Greenway. Okay, so it's a big chunk of uh, the city here. I love that about Boston. That's super cool. That's a big old American flag hanging there. It seems to be a patriotic city here. Here's a closer look at the big old giant American flag hanging down from this building. It's a cool archer way. So we are at Rose Wharf. That's where this big flag's hanging down from the archer way. Um, these are some fancy residential areas here. There's some rich people who can live on the harbor. It looks like a lot of these are empty. Or maybe those are hallways, I don't know. But, ooh, look, fancy store. <laughs> we got the ferry terminal down here. The aquarium is down there. Um, I'm gonna go down to the ferry terminal, maybe take the ferry around. The uh, aquarium is not a member of the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, at least that I saw, and they do not honor the reciprocal program. So that is one reason I'm not going there today. The Boston Zoo or the New England Zoo does offer it, but they are a little bit further away. Maybe next time I'm in Boston, I'll check that out. But yeah, look at that. Looks like something from The Little Mermaid. It's empty. What is that used for? I guess like uh, you can have weddings and stuff in there, right? Right in the harbor. Pretty cool. Hey, the Boston Harbor Walk is this way. There's a little map, that's where we're at. Tiki Boat Boston. What? What, is, what? If this is what I think it is, it looks like it'd be fun. I don't see it out here though. Well, that is where the Tiki Boat would be, but they are out of season right now. It is, it is too chilly. Oh, look at that house right there. What the heck? What is that doing there? That's crazy. A lot of the stuff is uh, definitely geared towards the summer months. Um, we got a water shuttle to the airport. That's cool. I don't need to go to the airport right now. I do in a couple of hours. I gotta go back to the hotel first. Um, it's not too cold out here, but I can see why a lot of stuff just shuts down um, after October. It's gonna get it's gonna get nippy out here soon. I guarantee it. But you can have a boatload of fun on the Mass Bay lines. Put the fun in function. Some more boats. Someone left their Halloween mask. <laughs> Look at that old bridge. Where does that go to? Oh, the bridge goes to that house. It's so crazy. Well, kids, the bridge is closed. It looks like it has been for quite a while. So they tried to plant some gardens here, but kind of gave up on it. I guess it's just not safe. I wonder why it's still here. There's the famous ship Beaver. Yeah, there's another ship over there on the other side. I don't know what that one's called. But then here is the famous Hood milk bottle. Look at that, selling milk for, I don't know how many years, for decades. Get a closer look. Just walking across a bridge, going over the harbor. Here's, here's the bridge that's down. It's so weird. Got bridges. All down the harbor, it's, yeah, it's windy, it's a little chilly. Oh, the barking crab, that is very tasteless. If I had to say you did too. Okay, that's where they had, that is where they had the Boston Tea Party. I had no idea. I'm just kind of walking around, just checking out stuff. I knew the stuff was around here. That's cool to see. Um, we might get closer to that, but I'm going to the, uh, the hood milk bottle up here next. A lot of people are out walking their dogs, taking little jogs. It's a brisk Saturday morning. It's not too bad. 
I mean, it's kind of weird. It's overcast, but these are transition lenses and they are dark. So it's hard for me to see because it's overcast. I guess there's just a lot of UV light. I'm not like the cool guy wearing the sunglasses when it's dark outside. Um, um, it's just, I guess, a lot of UV light. Okay, now as I get closer, I can read it. The 250th anniversary of the Boston Tea Party is going to be here on December 16th, 2023. So just a little over a month away, the 250th anniversary. Holy smokies. I'm right by the uh, Children's Museum and I have an advertisement on the trash can <laughs> promoting dinos in space. It kind of reminds me of the dinosaurs versus aliens we saw at the thing in Arizona. Not going in the Children's Museum, but it's good to know that they can have some fun in there. So you have the tea party here, the hood milk bottle here, and the Children's Museum right here. You can see it was an old warehouse that they turned into a Children's Museum, which is cool. And rocks, that rocks. <laughs> Sorry, that was bad. Here it is up close, the hood milk bottle. I don't know if they do anything in here. The, thing, the whole thing's made out of wood. Except for maybe the top that looks like it's made out of steel. We accept cash or Venmo, no credit cards. Hey, I've got Venmo. <laughs> they accept cash and Venmo, that's all they accept. But they're not open. It's out of season. They don't have anything in there. It's uh, I guess they sell milk or ice cream here at the hood. We got some lemon. Yeah, Italian ice. They're closed. They'll be back at six thirty apparently. I don't think that's right. I think they're closed for the season. But what can you do? We'll go to the Boston Tea Party Ships and Museum. <laughs> Yay old ATM. That's hilarious. <laughs> Hong Yong Hyun Sung. Here's the hours, the gift shop, 9.30. Hey, it's past 9.30. The museum isn't open until 10. The history of the East India Company. Hello, sir. <laughs> That's Sam Adams. I'm used to seeing him holding hold a beer in his hand. <laughs> All right. Bought my tour. It was $37. And we wait and it looks like a church with pews. So I got a character card. So this is who I am. I guess, uh, I lived and I died at 80 years old. That's not bad for a house house painter. My father had Tory sensibilities. Oh, not a fan of the Tories. So this is what happened on the night of the Boston Tea Party. In the recent weeks, a crisis has been brewing in Boston, and today thousands of citizens are gathering to raise their voices against tyranny and oppression. As a concerned citizen, you're aware that the outcome of this meeting will have profound consequences. Are you willing to do what it takes to defend your liberties? Okay, and that's me. So, oop, this is turn it over. Yeah. Yep. I'm undaunted in my support for the sins of liberty. This should actually... Sounds like a, a Trump insurrectionist. I kind of actually what these people did and what the Trump insurrectionists are doing now are completely different. Um, We've gathered here today to discuss yet another crisis forced upon us by Parliament. Going down to the boats to throw the tea into the harbor. Here's a good ship, Eleanor. Hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> How fun. These kids are going to get to throw the tea into the harbor. Huzzah! <laughs> we get to 
go downstairs and grab the rest of the tea to throw into the harbor. Hey, wake up, buddy. We're stealing your tea. Alright. Gotta I dump, love Boston. Gotta dump that tea. <laughs> Throw it in the ocean. In the harbor. <laughs> Yo, Captain. Business in the front, party in the back. Yeah. You ain't drinking much tea, buddy. A giant anchor. Here we are. We're on a boat. Throwing some tea in the harbor. All right, there was no uh, video pictures in the museum. I'll tell you about that in a second. But we get to exit through the gift shop. All right, the Boston Tea Party Museum. Uh, it was cool. I do recommend it if you come here. Uh, $37, a little steep. You get to throw some tea off the edge. Um, the actual museum part where you can't take any pictures or video was actually really cool. There were some holographs, there was uh, some like video boards that looked like paintings, and there was a movie at the end that was really well done. Some of the makeup, the guy getting shot in the face, that was a little bad. Give it a pass. Um, I mean, it's one of those things, if you're in Boston, you gotta come check out the Tea Party Museum. Um, it, didn't, it happened in Boston Harbor, but uh, where it actually happened, is more inland now they've kind of built up some of the city so yeah yay old atm that still cracks me up <laughs> even the tourist trolley has the 250th anniversary of the uh, boston tea party at least that one does that one's got the whale watcher tour that's just a stop all right i gotta make my way back to the hotel change clothes and fly to Atlanta, then back home to Houston, where I'm gonna spend the night, and then fly to Baltimore. <laughs> I woke up at two o'clock this morning because I was so tired when I got in, I went to bed at like before 7 p.m. So anyway, guys, uh, this is just a, a layover here in Boston. So thanks for joining me. Wasn't sure what I was gonna do, but I enjoyed walking around and bringing you guys along with me. So until next time, guys, uh, I guess I'll be in Baltimore on my next layover. So hopefully I'll have something there. I might meet up with a friend. We'll see, who knows? But I do know I want you to be there with me. So I'll see you then, bye. All right, we're gonna leave on this again. Big old American flag. Uh, if you've done so already, please slap that like button. It really does help. I know you don't see the likes, but I do. Um, leave a comment. That helps even more. I love talking to you guys. And uh, maybe there'll be an end card here where you can check out some of these other videos.